about uh, painting your brand new pop-out frames um, when you get brand new ones uh, a lot of guys will shoot regular primer on these and then paint them um, and you know then they can scratch pretty easily and or they go out and spend a whole bunch of money getting powder coated which is not bad on these to get them powder coated because you can't get paint down on all these cracks and the powder coating because it works by electrolysis um, can get down into some of these cracks and have that all coated out pretty good but the problem with <clears throat> powder coating is usually it doesn't match your finish so here's what I've done in the past I'm going to show you the uh, front window frames real quick so brand new these were powder coated and they were an ugly yellow that they come um, that doesn't match anything. I don't know why they wouldn't have made them pearl white or something. I don't know. They make them this yellow white color and I've already painted these to match the first surface here. So uh, I just mask off everything and even the glass and paint the powder coat. Just sand it down a little, just, just lightly scuff it and then paint it. You can actually paint powder coat and it does sand okay just so you know, um, so you don't have to live with that ugly yellow on your safari windows. So one of the methods you can use to paint these if you're going to paint them, if you're going to powder coat them, great. Powder coat them, then you're probably going to want to paint them afterwards to get them to match your car. Um, so uh, if you're going to paint them afterwards, fine, you know, take them apart, take them down, have them powder coated, bring them back, paint them. If you don't want to do that and you want something that works pretty well, um, I don't want to go through all that extra money cost and everything else. Let me show you the primer I use. This is a multi-substrate primer. Um, it's a sealer bonder primer. Um, it works with epoxy paints, even waterborne paints from house paints, all kinds of things. And basically it's an adhesion coating. You put a light coat of this on. I'll do a little sample how light we're talking about. Just like that, no heavier. Any heavier, you're going to create problems. So put a really light coat of that on. Um, it's not exactly the 100% design for this, but I'm going to tell you that I can paint right over that without having to sand between things. Because usually, if you put primer on, you have to sand the primer, then you have to paint, sand, the, and then put the paint on. Or you can use a primer sealer that's already that works okay too. Um, if you have it, um, if you don't. If you're at home or something like that you just want something that works this is at available at most paint stores this is not cheap this is like ten dollars a spray can so um, but it does work really well I painted over stuff like this and I cannot really chip the paint off of the metal once this is on there so it's really really hard to chip it's on there so good so that way it eliminates the need for sanding another way you can do that is by using a primer sealer and then prime it with with that and then paint them um, but this stuff doesn't work over feather edged material it only works well over uh, uh, unpainted metal so just so you know that's the only thing it really works well on it and works fine for this so anyway it's another way to do it um, I'll I guess I'll talk to you on the next video about you know, some of the other things you can do oh real quick I wanted to say if you're doing brand new pop outs okay before you paint them before you do anything to them before you send them out for powder coating before anything is you need to bend if you look at the brand new ones they don't look like this the, these things are crimped in the corners are crimped in you need to you see the little bit of hand you know the little hammering and stuff I've done there you need to bend these out so the rubber will fit now people go oh my gosh I can see that when you cover this with the rubber the rubber goes right here it covers out to past here a little bit you can't see any of them you can't see anything it's it's fine like that you won't even notice it if you wanted to you could grind this down real quick and then you know prime it and all that stuff but you really absolutely don't need to because you can't see it you're looking at this edge and this edge you know this very edge, you can maybe see a sixteenth of an inch of it very at the very edge, so it's not not really necessary to do all that. 
but you absolutely have to do this with brand new pop out windows old original frames if you look at them you see how that's square across um, they're crimped in look at them look at, your, look at your brand new frames you got to do this before you send it out for powder coating so that's why I have on here about powder coating so make sure that you crimp those edges all right so I'll talk to you on the next video